When it comes to smartphones, up until now it was mostly the software which had the biggest impact on the quality of images. With the Huawei P30 Pro, Huawei comes with a camera that changes standards in hardware which haven't changed since decades to widen the boundaries of smartphone photography. Let's talk about that and explain how it works. The Huawei P30 Pro comes with four cameras on the back, one of which is the 40 megapixel Huawei Super Spectrum camera. This camera can now reach up to ISO 400 9600, which is four times more than on the predecessor, something we see on cameras like the Sony A7S. This allows you literally to see in a room that is completely dark. Of course, this is not a realistic scenario if you don't want to catch ghosts, so usually you'll have at least some light, which would of course lead to even better looking low light images. On other phones we tried, you can only see a black screen. Additionally, this camera improves the dynamic range as it builds an exposure map, taking apart the picture and putting it back together so everything in the picture has the right exposure. Shooting against light shouldn't be a problem anymore. With this, Huawei also introduces a night mode for the video camera, which we still need to try out. Now, how does this work and why is this camera so special? Conventional cameras use RGB sensors to capture light and break it into red, green and blue as it makes sense since it imitates the way our eyes work. This is easy to process and easy to display on monitors which also use these primary colors. Mixing these up leads to brighter colors and eventually ends up in white. This is called an additive process. The Huawei Super Spectrum camera has an RYB sensor instead. We know similar color schemes from printing, namely cyan, magenta and yellow. This is known as a subtractive method since you don't add up colors but actually absorb it with contrary colors. So adding up these colors lead to darker colors which ends up in black. Usually for photography this doesn't really make sense. However, the RYB sensor on the Huawei P30 Pro uses a mixture of both, as it splits up colors into red and blue only, but capturing the yellow color as luminance. So at the end we end up with colors that are red minus yellow and blue minus yellow. Adding back yellow obviously gives us red and blue, but mixing green out of these colors is complicated. In order to do this, you need new sensors, ISPs, DSPs and software, which is highly cost intensive as the process is also complex since it requires multiple gamma corrections, as well as mixing up additive and subtractive processes, since the chances of misregistration is much higher. Huawei managed to do it though and the results are amazing. Now the second camera is the 8 megapixel periscope zoom. This sensor has a fixed 5 times optical zoom. The way it works is actually pretty simple yet effective. The squared sensor on the back is a prism where the image gets diverted by 90 degrees passing through 5 lenses allowing you to zoom further without expanding the camera bump. In combination with the 40 megapixel sensor and the AI, you can even zoom up to 10 times, which gives you almost lossless zoomed images. What's crazier is the digital zoom, as you can now zoom up to 50 times. Usually you'd expect an unrecognizable mix of pixels, but you do actually get a fairly sharp and usable image. When we tried it out outside, I could zoom in on a small text on a far away building and actually read it. The P30 Pro also comes with a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor, which allows macro shots up to 2.5 cm distance and which we already know from the Mate 20 Pro, here in an improved version. What's actually new and the trend of this year is the additional time of flight sensor, which can measure distances of objects by sending out light and counting how long it takes for the reflection to come back. This allows better and smoother bokeh transmissions since we have more layers to play with. On a first look, we could see an improvement immediately. Last but not least, we have a 32 megapixel front camera, which seems to finally improve the quality of selfies as the predecessors only delivered average quality images. Anyway, we are excited to play around a bit longer with the Huawei P30 Pro. Let us know what you think and stay tuned for some more content on the P30 Pro. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.